What up everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias. I have a pretty exciting package here today, which seems to be the kind of the theme the past few days. If you don't know, the Flip Forge Edit is a plastic palette song that I really, really love, and I think it's really great. Um, and so is the Tay Flipper. And of course, when I made a review, not a review, when I made a video on the Edit, Flip Forge was very interested in letting me try the Edit Light, which if you didn't know, this is the full edit, it's like three ounces, and then the Edit Light is a bit lighter, hence the name. It takes out some of the rods that he puts in the blade and the handles and makes it an overall lighter experience. And I have that right here. Now the thing is, as you might notice, I have two packages here. Oh, and he very kindly labeled them. Thank you, Flip Forge. One of these is going to tie. So I'm just going to set that over there. He shipped me both of them so I could ship one down to tie, just to make it a little easier on him. Um, but let's break in to the edit light. Now this is a balisong that I have been very interested in trying for a long time. Because the edit has some, it, it, it's very good. Second favorite plastic balisong, don't get me wrong but it just has some weird kind of shakiness to it when you flip it. And I'm wondering if maybe the light will fix that. And also, I got a new color. Oh, and we have the new sticker. Look at that. We got the Cassie stickers. This is his snake Cassie. And I love this sticker. I think it's amazing. I can't remember who commissioned, who we commissioned to do it feel like I should know that, but I don't, so I'm sorry about that. But look at how cute the sticker is. Um, this looks like it might be the new Tonto Blade. He said he changed the Tonto Blade um, since I last had one, which was the gray one that went on here that I really didn't like that much. So this could actually be the new one. I'm wondering if this would work on here. Probably not. Anyway, I'll try this later. We'll see if the Tonto Blade has been fixed. I'll make a follow-up video on that, I guess. Here we go, we got the bubblegum cotton candy edit light. Right off the bat, I can really feel the weight dif the weight difference, but I can also feel the weight distribution changes. Because that was one thing I was a bit concerned about. Since the edit has poles going through its handles and its blade, it might be far more evenly distributed than something like the edit light would be, since this really only has weights, as far as I know, in the end and in the blade, and it also removes the adjustable weight that you have on the edit. Looks otherwise about the same. It looks like with this, this teal blade or this um, mint blade, you can really see the hardware inside there. So that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna give this a quick little flip, actually after handle gap is slightly smaller. That's good to see. Let's give this thing a flip. Oh no, I actually, I also, so my design, I went with different jimping. I went with different everything. So you can see I have a different speed channel, different jimping, because I got the crosses on the face on this one. I also got the cross uh, surface texture, which feels a lot more grippy this time around. Uh, kind of, I, I can feel it a bit more than I can feel the one on this. So I believe that's also something that was changed. And then this is a new pattern Kind of like a crack in line running down the the uh, handle, but yeah, let's just let's give it a flip. Okay, I almost don't even have to feel anything else. This is immediately, I can feel why people say this is so similar to the edit. I was like, there's no way it can be as evenly distributed or even feel like the same in any way, shape or form, because you're taking off 2.5 ounces, right? And you're also taking away that weight distribution that I think makes the edit really good. But no, this is almost even better distributed. This almost has a better distribution than the edit. And it immediately takes away that shakiness that I feel on the edit. It's still there to a slight degree. But now it's more close to something like the Tay Flipper, because the Tay Flipper has that shake too. Every ballast song, as far as I can tell, has that little shake. But this, ooh, okay. 
I have to admit, I really didn't think I was gonna I was gonna love the uh, edit light as much as I love the edit because I love the weight of the edit. The edit's three ounces. Oh, it feels so good. It's like oh, it's so heavy and it, it's it's nice. So I thought losing that and going down to a more traditional 2.7, which to be fair is still pretty heavy. That's only 0.1, or no, that is 0.1 ounces heavier than a Squiddy B, which before was the heaviest plastic battle song out there. Besides maybe like the Zipper V2. Oh guys, I like this a lot. It, it, it distinctly feels like an edit. The point, the 2.5 ounces, not the 2.5 ounces, holy cow. The 0.25 ounces that you lose is not as noticeable as I thought, and it actually helps out the balance quite a bit. Oh, no, this is really good. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, Flipforge, I have to say, I doubted you. I did not think that... I thought that the edit light would be good, but I thought the edit would still be my favorite. Mm, first impressions-wise, this feels really good, and this might overtake the edit for me. It fans really well. Chaplin's really well. Carries momentum really well. Eh. Is your... Zero G's don't feel the best, although to be fair, they don't feel the best on the Tay Flipper either. Although actually, kind of just killed it on the Tay Flipper, so I don't know what's up there. Let's give this one more try. Maybe I was... Ah. Okay, maybe I'm just too used to a different ballast song that I've been flipping lately. Yeah, I might just be too used to the other ballast song that I have been I've been daily carrying to make a review on in the future. No, that okay, that feels pretty good. Holy cow. New public flipper question mark? Oh dude, the edit light kinda goes so hard. Holy cow, I was not expecting this at all. As I've made clear over and over and over again, I really did think that the edit, it's still its still as chunky as the edit. Is the blade longer or am I just stupid? Oh, I'm just stupid. Yeah, it, oh my gosh, it distinctly just feels like an edit. But it, it almost fixes that. I, I said when I made that week with the edit review, that there was this like weirdness to the edit. And I've come to find out that it is that kind of weird momentum that it has. It's sort of like in the very specific trip tricks just kind of shakes around a little bit. And when you start flipping really fast, if you're not used to it, it can catch you up really quickly. And I think that's the weirdness that I that I found, specifically in fans. Like when you fan, it kind of just it's like rumbling all over the place. But this doesn't really have that. It doesn't have that weirdness. It feels like the edit, if the edit didn't have that weirdness that I was talking about, and you can probably tell that I am absolutely cranking tricks on this with no problem whatsoever. Oh, this is good. It almost has a sound like the calico when it closes. This is a really, really untuned calico, mind you, but. Did he put? No, interesting. Cause Tay has the, um, also, is there like, is there something engraved in there? Oh, it says V1 inside the handle. Wait, that's so cool. I just never noticed that on the original edit. Huh, okay. Yeah, this, this has like, Tay puts the um, the silicone tape inside the calico to make it not slap, and it's the one plastic ballast song that I can actually like really stand the weight of, or not the weight the the closing sound of when it's tuned properly. I need to give this thing a, a good tune and lube it, but this kind of has like the same. Also, I want to figure out where I'm going to put this Cassie sticker because this thing's. 
adorable. Look at her. She's so cute. I think it's a she. I hope it's a she. I think it's going to right there. Front and center on the case, maybe. Or maybe over here. I can't really fit it over there. I might peel off this Squid Industry sticker, put it slanted like that, and then put a different Squid Industry sticker up here, because I have a bunch of Squid Industry stickers. Anyway, that's not what you guys came here for. You guys came here for the edit, and the, oh, the edit light is so good. Oh, damn, dude. Okay, I'm... I'm going to go spend some time with this. I'm also going to go do some homework. I just got home. It's currently 9.50. And I need to finish up an assignment that's due in two hours. I just wanted to throw this in here because I couldn't wait until tomorrow. I don't get home tomorrow until like 4. So I could not wait until tomorrow to open this thing up. And it... It is certainly... Excuse me. It is certainly living up to the hype what the heck it is certainly living up to the hype because whew. okay i'm gonna go spend a week with this thing i also haven't dropped it once which i don't know if that kind of shows you how much i'm enjoying flipping it and how well it vibes with my flipping style here comes a trick i haven't done in a while okay there's the first drop but the chaplain I was watching old Blade Bias videos. I can do, I could do chaplain transfers back in the day, and I completely forgot about that fact. So I'm gonna try and bring that back into the uh, the equation. Okay, I'm gonna go spend a week with this thing, come back and let you guys what I know, what I figure out, and also I'm gonna try this. I don't think I'm gonna do a separate video on the Tonto Blade, um, just specifically because I already did that. But come back in the I spent a week with the edit light review. Not review. Sorry, we don't make reviews on Blade Bias to make that perfectly clear. Come back in the I spent a week with the edit light video that I'm going to make. And I'll talk about the Tonto Blade. But early impressions. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this changes. Early impressions for me... This could be the first plastic ballast song I've tried that truly rivals the Tay Flipper for me. And this certainly could be my new, like, public flipper EDC. Damn. All right, well, on that shocking revelation, I'm going to go do some homework. That sucks, but you got to do what you got to do, right? Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.